It is now time to make Phil go to an attraction that I can mercifully avoid. It only took me three goes before I guessed the USP of Teapot Island. There are almost 7,000 teapots in its collection, as if Maidstone wasn't fascinating enough. 7,000 teapots, Richard, think of it. Yeah, I have thought of it, and yet I mustn't go in. There are reasons for this. I do not like crowds. It's bound to be rammed. I'm going to get so excited, my elbows are going to fly about the place and cause breakages. Perspex, there's perspex over the teapots, Richard. My elbows are like diamonds, so I have had my tech support staff rustle this up. It's a webcam attached to a hat that is bone conductive. So I'll be able to speak to you and your head will act as an amplifier for my words. And then that's going to live stream to my tablet computer so I can see what's going on, drink in the cultural goodness without encountering what may be some frankly creepy people. Your law say you are, Dave. OK, I'm going to go and hang out by that massive weird teapot. Wow, just believe what you're seeing, my friend. Phil. How does it feel to be there live? I am overwhelmed. I've never been around this much pottery. I mean, this is so much better than being there. Ah, oh, that is a very evocative scene. Two pandas hugging. By some bamboo. I'm really pleased I have the buffer of space from this experience. I'm worried that I'd be overwhelmed. Now, oh. as you can see, if I put my hand there, these ones are tiny. These are ridiculously small teapots. I mean, who's going to drink out of these? I don't know, someone with a great sense of fun. i tell you what, I I'm not going to speak back to you. But rest assured that I'm listening to everything you say, OK? OK. All right. Th thanks, Richard. Well, this has blown my mind. Keep talking, Phil. I'm listening. I hope you're recording this, or at least doing screen grabs. I vanquished the tedium of going inside museums, but have my technical support staff managed to devise a way for me to circumvent the insanity of going on a country walk by providing gadgets that will do the hard work for me? Well, here we are at the devil's kneading trough. Damn straight. Not all the way up yet. No, no, because our reward, Richard, when we reach the top of the trough, as they call it locally, our reward will be the delicious view behind us. Right. Well, I can only continue this aberrant behaviour under one condition. <sighs> OK, let's go and introduce everyone to the so condition. So many conditions on this walk. Well... My boffins have found these. Bionic legs. Originally used by the medical industry to assist with rehabilitation, they are equipped with sensors which can tell what movement you're making and activate motors to assist. They are the perfect gadget for those of us who want to ramble while using minimal energy. No more stitches or stiff legs for me with these fellas. Yeah? No. It's yes. pretty good, isn't it? It's not pretty good. This is insane. I like the sound. Yeah, it's really, really cutting across the sound of the meadow larks, isn't it? The sound is one of the great things about this. It makes me feel purposive. Look at the stride it's giving you, like John Wayne. You look like a young John Wayne. I look like I've soiled myself and I'm trying to find facilities. That's a John Wayne walk. Even with technology sharing the burden, halfway up the hill is pretty plenty for me. You can have a pit stop. Ah, yonder. So, I've arranged for refreshments to balance our blood sugar and an even bigger surprise for Phil. I sense a reluctance in you to get back up. Well, I'm here with my chunky robot thighs and a lovely ice cream. I can see the hill up there. I sort of want to go, but I sort of don't. You're in conflict, is what you're saying. I am. You're torn apart. Mm. There's no solution. No. Well, there is. Yeah? Enter the NX Rover. NASA currently has two operational rovers on the surface of Mars, braving the elements to send home 360-degree views of the red planet. But these were merely a dummy run for our Earth-traversing camera bot. Fantastic. My team have commandeered this tour de force so that I never have to walk to the top of a hill again. I and other internet users anywhere in the world can have complete control of the rover and camera meaning that I can holiday without leaving the house. Gosh, look at the HD. Oh, wow. That's some res right there. Have you ever seen a stream as powerful as this? 
I have not. It's a joy. It's amazing because it's there. Yes. And it's there. Yes. And yet my eye is drawn to this beautiful representation mm. of the view that is actually there. It's wonderful. If only we could have thought of this earlier, we wouldn't even have had to have come here. No. Could have done all this on the phone. Beautiful. So, while I still view the holiday with outright hostility, I've proved beyond any shred of a doubt that with the help of gadgets, it's possible to make it through with utter dignity. No. Darn tootin'. Oh, oh, that's a glitch. That's a glitch. What's that now? a glitch. Of your legs. That's a glitch. Really? Wow.